Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. How's it going? Just came across this leaked document. Thought it might be of interest to you all out there, especially those of you who have kids in school or out of school, depending on whether you want them to be tested and wearing masks all day long. Again, I've had so many emails from parents about tests and the masks and how much of a problem it's been causing since the kids went back to school at the start of this week. Loads of stories of kids who are refusing the tests and not wearing the masks, but then being made to sit at the back of the class and getting picked on by other kids. Kids who are wearing masks, who are in the majority. Anyhow, back to the subject of this video. I came across this tweet from Tilly Fuzz, who has a video of Gemma O'Doherty, who has a leaked document from the Teacher Union of Ireland. Now, it seems that they are put well, from what it sounds like, it seems that they are pushing for all kids and teachers to be getting the jab. No jab, no entering the school building is what it sounds like. Even the parents, I would imagine. If they want to come into the school, they're going to have to have the jab. Now, of course, I can't verify this document as I have not seen it in full. Only this segment from the video, but it looks and sounds legit. Now, I know this is specifically also just for Ireland, but you know, you know how these things work now. It seems to be the same rules across most countries. They are all being just introduced at a slightly different time. So this is the document. It's a preliminary agenda from the Teachers Union of Ireland for a meeting coming up. And this part of it here, I'll read out to you. Ireland, together with many other countries around the world, is currently in the grip of a pandemic, which has overthrown many ways in which our society has functioned. Education has suffered with months of physical school closure and the related turn to emergency remote teaching. Teaching and learning in this time has suffered together with much emotional, psychological and spiritual distress in our school communities. It is necessary that society uses all of the medically approved tools available to enable a return to the rich presential face-to-face -face in the classroom teaching and learning environment that we prefer. To that end, the uptake of COVID-19 vaccine should be a requirement for entering and continuing physical attendance in a school. Congress instructs the executive to negotiate with the DES that a recognized and required national document be instituted which evidences that a COVID-19 vaccine has been administered other than those with a valid medical exemptions, etc., following the rollout of the national COVID-19 vaccination plan. So it seems very, very clear there the way they are going to go. And you know, if you look over towards the UK, you can see with the visor people starting to test kids with jabs. They must be planning on doing the same in the UK, but that'll be later on. Just this week, the kids have gone back. But now, of course, loads are wearing masks in corridors and classrooms. They're getting tests. They're having to do tests now at home twice a week. And again, from what I'm seeing online, and from the emails I've been getting, it seems a great many of parents are not happy about this, but they are putting up with it. And you know, I mean, look at this leaked document. This is very clear where this is going. This is why I said in a video a while back that you need to know what side of the road you are on because you can't really stand in the middle of the road anymore. As always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to HugoTalks.com if you want to stay in contact as I could get suspended any day now from YouTube. And when I do, I won't be coming back for a while, if at all. So if you want to keep on getting daily updates, subscribe to HugoTalks.com and you will get an email every time I upload a video. I'll see you later.